get a lot of messages to say the least, whether it's Instagram, my Facebook page, personal Facebook page, of course, YouTube comments and YouTube messages about, you know, like, hey, I wanna throw this mod on, hey, I wanna throw that mod on. I still ask the same question as I've asked ever since I started this channel well over three years ago. How is your maintenance? Because your N54, N55, S65, whatever engine that you have, N52, whatever engine that you have in your car, and you want to push it along further as far as performance goes, you need to make sure that your stock parts are definitely in check. Just like what I always say, maintenance for modifications. I still see it, even today, even as of like an hour ago, I still see it as in, hey, I'm getting all these issues and I threw this tune on, I'm doing this E85 mix and now I'm getting this code, now I'm getting that code. Injectors failing, you know, O2's not working right. Once you start modding your car, it's gonna start pulling the weakness out of those stock parts. So you could be on just complete stock and it could drive like a dream. But as soon as you add more boost to it, more timing to it, more fuel to it, and those parts that are trying to monitor that sometimes always can't keep up. And then that's when you run into your codes and your issues. So as far as if you have an N54, I always go through and replace all the simple things right off the bat. Plugs and coils go a long way because a lot of the misfires do tend to that. Now, if you have a lot of older injectors, so if you don't have index 12 injectors by now, I would start looking at those because you could potentially have problems with them. Now, if you have index 11s or index 10s, you could be somewhat uh, you know, fine uh, for right now, but I'm more so talking about like the older group, a population of injectors, like what I have, index sevens, index ones, index twos, threes, you know, all in that spectrum of older injectors because you're gonna have higher mileage on those because you had the car that much longer and they may not just be failing out just yet. So definitely, I guess, really think about your goals, what you want to achieve in your car as far as power goes. Take a look at what parts you currently still have on the car now and how old, you know, what's the aging of those? What's the aging of your O2s, your water pump, uh, certain hoses, seals, gaskets, you know, the list can go on and I know it can be endless, but get a lot of those other things in check. If you're adding on a tune and you have an oil leak, fix your oil leak first. It's just get, get that car up to par, get it you know ready to go. And I guess that's the biggest thing, right? That I always, always try to you know come across to do because the last thing I want you guys to have happen is that you throw in a tune, throw on a bunch of mods and you're excited about it because you're adding power to it and you know the car's fun and then, then the car gives you more headaches. And then you're like, you know, BMW suck and blah, blah, blah. It's just try to fix the problem before it becomes a problem. So preventative maintenance is obviously what I'm referring to. So definitely take care of any problems, current problems that you have on the car now. Check those off, get those done. Secondly, if you're starting to tune your car, then do the plugs and coils if you haven't already changed them. Now, if you already changed them, then you're good. You don't have to rechange them again. Uh, so that way those are nice and fresh. If you continue to have problems with misfires, Depending on what DME you have, depending on what older injectors you have, start looking at injectors. Those can be expensive. So I try to budget about $2,500 a year in maintenance cost. You never know. And uh, you can definitely get there sometimes. Now, if you don't use a lot of money, then obviously you go to the next year and then you still have that savings of money. So that's one thing I do as far as on the finance side of things, just to have. Well guys, maintenance before modifications. So it's definitely the biggest piece of advice. So since my car is backed into the garage, I usually pull forward, but sometimes I do back it in. But as far as backing it in, I'm getting ready to do the rear view camera. So obviously I have to run all the wiring down along the side into the trunk so that way I can do my new actuator of that. Uh, so you'll have that. Uh, so I'll be soon doing that DIY, hence why I'm parked like this. So stay tuned for that guys. And uh, you know, as always, thanks again. Big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, already and I appreciate you guys coming back yet again Have a great weekend. Take care